Hey everybody, it's your old noise pal from Hard Tech Studios, Grant. And I uh, went to Target the other day looking for some Transformer figures. And I saw this. Not the first time I saw it. Probably the, you know, 10th time. But they kept on disappearing and I kept on saying, maybe I should have got one. It wasn't that expensive. About 25 bucks. So after about two years of kind of looking at it and passing it by, I decided to go ahead and pick one up. Now, the main reason I'm picking this up is in the hopes that it might be close enough to the original circuit that I can maybe circuit bend it like the classic ones. Now, I've got my doubts, and uh, but we're going to go through this together. So, uh, I think it's on some kind of demo mode right now, so if you hit go... Spell learn. L-E-A-R-N. Learn you hear the uh, the speech. Now this, to me... Spell talk. T-A-L-K. Talk. If that is a speech synth... Excuse me. If that is a speech synthesizer, then that is a really, really good one. To me, it kind of sounds like some sound bites, some samples. So I'm kind of thinking it's that. It's probably not going to be the same thing. And if that's the case, I'll probably just return it. So, um, let's go ahead and crack it open real quick and check it out. So, looks like we're going to pull this whole box out. Yep, there's some instructions right there. That'll probably be handy later. And let's get this. So... There's the outside box. Now, for those of you who might not know, ew, I can see the demo mode right there. Um, the Speak and Spell came out like during the 70s. And, uh, you know, was a tool to help kids learn how to spell correctly. And uh, there was like some kind of cartridge inside where you could actually change. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Or you could change what kind of learning uh, it did, I guess. Now, let's see if they did that with this one, or if this is kind of like a more of a one-off. There we go. All right, we're starting out. Come out now. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna grab these, put those aside. If it turns out that I do return it, then um, I'll just put it back. Okay, so there's the back. Batteries are already in it. So let's see here. Okay, throw it in the garbage. Let's see what happens now. Spell level A. Press go to begin. All right. Now try four as in four wolves. And a five. F o, o. R. Enter. Oh, try again. What? Four. Okay, Next I misheard spell, it. Ski. S. I know how to spell, guys. I'm just. K but, I. <laughs> I guess I'm used to a QWERTY keyboard. You are correct. Now spell answer. Okay. A. N. S. W. E. R. You are right. Okay. Try. Actually, we're going to go ahead and turn you off for the moment. This is really, really, really light, by the way. Like, I could see a four-year-old carrying this all day and their hand never get tired. But um, that's not what we're here for, right? So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Crap the screwdriver. Make the microphone and the camera move a little bit.
color. So here we go. Oh, open the mic stand. Something still connected. I think it's this one. Let's see here. Yeah, it would be fun if this could be circuit bent in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And that would be why it is so light. Wow. That looks nothing like the original circuit. Not a darn bit. So yeah, this is definitely a different beast. Um, let's go ahead and give you all a nice close-up look of it. If we can, without it being uh, too glary. Yeah, most of these components are going to be really, really hard to solder to. That's not saying I can't do it. I can solder to something that small. But yeah. Well, we've already gone this far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the circuit board. Yeah, feel a lot of disappointment. I mean, it, I shouldn't have thought otherwise. Of course, it would be cheaper to do of today's components, not yesterday's, but uh, you can't kill a man for having hope. But, fun little experiment to uh, go through, just to see. Now, go ahead and, oh geez. Okay, this is a, uh, well, there's a screen right there. So yeah, not much, uh, not much there. Okay, so let's see if we can pick both of this up and get another close up shot of it. Yeah, so that's all it is. How disappointing. Well, um, I guess that's good. It, guys, uh, let's get, I guess that's good. So, uh, stay tuned for a new video. Something that I've been working on with a, a oldie and a newie. I'm gonna be teaming up together. Uh, still spending most of my hours at Camping World, making good money and having a pretty good and reliable job. And uh, let's see, I guess that's uh, about it. So, till next time, I'll see y'all later. All right, so I'm not gone yet, guys. I uh, did a little bit of quick research. It turns out this is pretty much completely new product, same casing. The circuit is completely different. No speech synthesis. Those are just recorded words that have been modified, processed to sound all speech synthesizing. And it still sounds cool. Okay. Spell level A. Press go to begin. Oh, spell level A. Okay, just kidding. Spell does. But, um... Yeah, completely new technology. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to play around with this. And um, probably just give it to one of my friend's kids or something. Mine is uh, almost 17 and um, she probably doesn't need this because he's actually an excellent speller. So, um, like I said, fun little adventure, a little bit of education, 
a little bit of a, uh, why were you so stupid to actually do that? Uh, because, hey, it's me. It's Hard Tech Studios. It's Grant. So, like I said, I'll be returning with some more music. Let me know if you would like to see more of my gear opened up. Would you like to see this guy opened up? Or maybe something else? Let me know in the comments, and I will see y'all next time. Off.